Thank you. Welcome to. I appreciate. Sorry. Yes, thank you. Welcome to Q Trading Systems Techniques live demonstration and Q and A, 27th August, 2020, 8.30 AM Eastern Standard Time. I'm Sagan Nandi. I'll not go through my detail. You know that already. Disclaimer, I'm not an investment advisor. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is not a recommendation for trading. Trading involves risk. You and only you are solely responsible for the outcome of your trades. These are the systems I use. Q Elite, Q Global for technical trading, Q Vital for stock fundamental and peer analysis. Q Edge for sector industry rotation analysis and Q Index for market level index analysis. This session is for q and I don't have any specific topic. I initiated this session because one of the Q traders from the USA had some questions and I decided to open it up to others also so that I can try to answer everybody's queries. If it is useful, I may make it a regular session so that all the ongoing queries can be addressed. And I'll try to record it. If the recording is okay, I will upload it on the YouTube. I have unmuted everybody. I see two people have joined, Sri and Mike. So Mike and Sri, both of you can ask any question on the Q systems and techniques. As I mentioned, there is no other topic for this session, just to answer queries you may have. Please go ahead. Good morning, Sagar. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Um, you can hear me. So Sagar, uh, I know yesterday's uh, session towards the end, I had uh, a question uh, regarding the Q bands, you know, the bands that are there on the, so uh, since I use uh, Q Elite, um, do you have Q Elite uh, open? You know, we can, uh, so, so the bands on the uh, right side, you know, on the bottom, towards yes. the bottom. Um, uh, so those were the, uh, the bands. And I tried to go through the manuals, uh, but it was not, uh, I was looking for a concise uh, definition of, uh, you know, what these, I think the pluses mean of some sort of, uh, uh, squeeze uh, indication and uh, and uh, the, um, that's, the that's, above right above the yes I got it I got it that's a good question those who are using Q systems the technical trading systems either Q Elite on Station or Q Global on Metastock they know that the bands mm -hmm. were not in this current form in the older versions in the older versions we mm -hmm. used to have acceleration movement momentum that those indicators now those are not there as band indicators anymore though in the documentation mm -hmm. they are mentioned they are not in the band indicator they were somewhat redundant because the flow indicator took care of the change in acceleration speed momentum that's why i removed them from band and utilized this area, the band area, this real estate, to provide mm -hmm. some information from different templates. If mm -hmm. you right click or right click, right click on Q Elite on any of the band indicators, you will come to know the name. Like the bottom mm -hmm. one is squeeze, Q squeeze. The one mm -hmm. above that is pendulum, combined with the reversal dots then stretch and stretch release and the last ones are pressure and pressure u-turn let me go through them one mm -hmm. by one before going through the q elite version let me also show that in metastock q global the same indicators are available let me show only the daily chart here you don't have to right click if you hover and position your cursor on any of the band dots, it will show. Again, the same order, band squeeze first, mm -hmm. then pendulum with reversal, then stretch with 
bear release, pull release, and lastly, pressure and U-turn. So let me come back to QLA. And I will use these two panels. The left panel, I will change the template using hotkeys in QLA to show different templates from where the data is coming. On the left panel, I have changed to price extreme or pendulum template. This template is used to show what are the price extremes. At the extreme low, it will be red. Actually, there is further extreme, which will be magenta, then red, then dark red at the lower extreme. At the upper extreme, it will be cyan, bright green, dark green. Now, this is useful for longer term investing. One technique for buying stocks for longer term is to wait for a fundamentally strong stock to show red or magenta or dark red in the price extreme and then change it. Change it from magenta to red or red to dark red or dark red to yellow. There is a scan also reversal from price extreme low and high for the reversal from price extreme low scan will catch this instance when it changed from mm -hmm. red to dark red or dark red to yellow. At that time, we may keep so an smart. eye for a Q trade setup. And looking at the price mm -hmm. pattern here, it seems that on this day, we would have a possible long trade setup. Maybe, awesome. maybe go with flow. So, we so may so check that out. Yes, please tell me. How did you get the uh, this template? On Q Elite, you can do two things. One is you may go to studies and apply study groups. Mm -hmm. There are different study groups. However, instead of trying to mm -hmm. remember the study groups, I will show you the easier way. On my forum page, website saganandi.com, recently I shared a list of hotkeys. So under Q install category, we have different products. If I go to Q Elite mm -hmm. install, then we have the list of hotkeys for Q Elite. Now they mm -hmm. are synchronized between 10.0 and 9.5 unless the hotkeys are being used in your system for some other purpose. Once you install Q Elite latest version, this should work. So for price extreme, I tried to use the starting key in a meaningful way. So price extreme control shift E. Usually it is mm -hmm. control shift. And sometimes when there are multiple variations, like for entry chart, I have one version for basic and one for the template, including thrust jump OBB. In that case, I have used alt mm -hmm. shift for the one with more indicators, the basic indicator control shift hotkeys. So what I did on the it left works, panel, yeah. I pressed Control Shift E for price extreme. If I wanted e. to go back to backdrop <laughs> nice. B, so Control Shift B, that will go to weekly and backdrop. Mm. Coming back to Control Shift E, <laughs> that is price extreme. So this useful <laughs> information was in the price extreme template. Sometimes when <laughs> I got the reversal setups, for example, glue seemed to give a box setup because it reversed from multiple watermark resistance levels with a bare release signal, the daily color changed to red. And mm -hmm. I can see there was heavy activity on that day. And there was very high activity two days earlier. Therefore, it seems on the daily chart, on this day, it gave a box reversal short setup. At that time, I wanted to know without changing the template to price extreme template that is it at price extreme high or not. That's the purpose served by the band indicators. Instead of switching through different templates, I can see here that yes, this box setup, short setup came at price extreme high and the change in dot color mm -hmm. to dark green showed that it was also reversing. That also means mm -hmm. that I could find it through different scans. I could find this setup from box short setup scan. I could also find it from at price extreme high and reversal scan. 
and this is on the same time uh, time frame both yes on, both uh, of them are in daily. the daily time frame now got it, got it. every chart template in queue systems they have a default time frame so when i'm using the hotkeys it is already switching mm -hmm. to that default time frame so for price extreme it is daily mm -hmm. For entry, it is daily. If I go back to mm -hmm. backdrop, I'm using Control Shift B. You will see it doesn't only change the template; it also changes the interval to the default interval to speed up our operation. Mm -hmm. Now coming back to the price extreme here, it mm -hmm. is useful to know if the reversal is happening at price extreme high or price extreme low. That is why I grouped the reversal indicator along with price extreme mm -hmm. band indicator. So on this day, it also had a reversal dot. So I could instantly see more reasons to short it. Then mm -hmm. that, that is that, okay, the one by one, that is the band and reversal indicator. Let's use the stretch indicator now. Let me resize it. This pair is stretch and stretch release. This stretch indicator mm -hmm. is calculating if the price is becoming extended for each of the legs. It is not across many mm -hmm. legs. This swing high, low, high, low. It is not trying to calculate mm -hmm. the overextended nature across many swings. It is for each of the legs. For each of the legs, it is calculating if it is overbought, you may say. If it is overbought, it is showing stretch to the upside. And then mm -hmm. we are waiting for the bulls to pause. We don't know bulls are giving up or not, but bulls to pause. And that is when the bear release, the release stretch is released and it is reversing from being bullish to non-bullish at least. That's why we call it bear release or release. So this stretch and mm -hmm. stretch release are useful. Mm -hmm conditions for a box trade setup. On the candles, I am showing the release signal. The stretch signal is not shown, but I felt there is a requirement to see if price is overextended. That's why I added the mm -hmm. band indicator showing both stretch and stretch release. Stretch release is there on the candles also, but the stretch indicator is available here. That is mm -hmm. also useful. Even if I change the template, for example, if I change the template to a simpler one, the one that I'm using on the right side now, it is called all entry signals, control shift A. If I want mm -hmm. to focus on only trend following trades, some people only want to take trending market trades. Let me admit, I mm -hmm. just saw Enamel, Enamul from Australia was waiting, so I am adding him. Hi Enamul. I'll continue. Sorry, Enamul, I didn't notice the other monitor for some time. I just noticed you were there, so I I added you. So I'm continuing. On the right hand side, I'm using the alt entry signals. That is Control Shift A is the hotkey for Q Elite. If I am only interested in trend following, then I can simplify by removing the box setup or bound setup. I'm using Control Shift T, T for trend following, and that will mm -hmm. simplify the chart. Now I don't need the watermark level, don't need the release signal. I just have the flow color, traffic light color, the upper band, lower band, which are targets, and I have the headwind signal for possible reversals. Even in this template, I can know when price is extended. That is the usefulness of the band indicators, stretch and stretch release. Next is pressure and U-turn. In the older versions of Q systems, we used only high volume to decide some of the trade setups. For example, box setup, which is a reversal setup, as well as bound setup, which is also a reversal setup, more extreme reversal setup. Both of them relied on very or extreme high volume or activity, which are indicated by cyan or green dots respectively. In Q systems, we never need to read the numbers. 
later on i enhance the system i realized sometimes there is not enough volume however still the stock is going up with high force you may say and that is the usefulness of the pressure indicator the current system uses either high pressure or high activity or any of them to confirm if a box or bounce setup is there and sometimes when a breakout is happening if it is associated with high pressure that is also significant it may or may not have high volume all the time either high volume or high pressure any of them can reinforce our decision to take a breakout trend also for the necessary conditions being fulfilled for box and bounce setup pressure shows if price is going up with high pressure the name is just like that high pressure it may or may not have high volume it's a combination of how far price is moving and volume both are included in the calculation and then i realize that sometimes price goes up sharply with volume or without volume with high pressure and then immediately it reverses such a reversal seem to be more significant than just a simple bearish pressure so if there is high bullish pressure immediately within a few days followed by high bearish pressure then we have the pressure and the u turn let me scroll to find out such an instance here for example on earnings day it gapped up that had high bullish pressure and very next day it came down high bearish pressure and because it was immediately following a bullish pressure the second indicator lit up showing that it is not only pressure but also u turn from bullish to bearish and those points may be used to firstly book profit in existing position or maybe to see if there is a proper setup is there for taking a bearish trade in this case either using daily in this case using daily there was no trade setup using intraday one might try to take such a trade that may be more useful when the high bullish pressure is moving the stock up to a resistance like a memory resistance or a watermark resistance then if immediate next candle reverses with pressure plus u turn then we have even more you may say more reason to take the reversal trend that is the use of the pressure and u turn the last one at the bottom is q squeeze there is a concept that if a stock is in a prolonged squeeze and the squeeze indicator is coming from the volatility chart on the left hand side i am using control shift v v for volatility here we are showing the q squeeze q squeeze means when these red dots start to appear that shows the volatility is squeezing not that price is squeezing volatility is squeezing meaning this squid shape boundary lines they are coming in it is not just these boundary pairs that are contracting but there are some other internal calculations when it is contracting it starts to show the red dots and if i align them between the two panels you can see when the squeeze starts the squeeze band indicator starts to appear that hypothesis is that if it is inside a squeeze when the squeeze starts to get released then price may move significantly in either direction and when the squeeze is released then the squeeze release dot appears in the band and you can see on the chart also volatility chart it appears as a green dot so if the squeeze is only for one day it is not significant if it is for many days and if that is associated with actual price moving in a narrow range sometimes the volatility squeeze may happen even if a stock is continuing to trade up or down 
that is not so useful, not tradable information. But if it is moving inside a narrow range when the squeeze is appearing, then when the squeeze really starts, then we may look for a significant move in either direction. That is not a trade setup though. It is just an insight that may be used to be ready for a trade. In this particular case, glue, it is moving inside a box, inside a range. We may check its fundamentals industry. If that is aligned, then we may take a breakout from a range kind of trade, if it can break out. In this case, we may have more reason to take this breakout because it seems to be in a squeeze and if it breaks out, it will further come out of the squeeze. That is how the band indicators are used. They help us visualize signals from multiple charts, multiple queue templates without us having to go through those charts individually. Of course, if I go through the charts individually, it gives me more, more visual information. So it's always useful to use the hotkeys to view the actual chart and for a shortcut, you may use the band indicators. That was a good question. I, I hope I explained how I use the band indicators. You may also later on when you have time, you may go through the scans. You will see there are many scans. Some of the scans use individual template information, which are also in band. For example, the reversal dot that I mentioned we always have scans for both directions. So reversal bearish and bullish. If we run the scan, it will show up the charts, which will have a reversal dot in the band indicators. Similarly, squeeze and squeeze release. They are in the scans. They are also in the band indicators, individual chart templates. Same for price extreme high reversing, price extreme high, low and reversing from low. If we see stretch, okay, pressure, extreme, bearish, bullish, and U-turn. We have these also in band indicators and we have them in scans. Then we have, where are the squeeze? Yeah, this squeeze and stretch, 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 stretch. No, stretch release is not there. There is just the box setup, I can see. Long box, long and short box that uses the stretch and stretch release information. You may run the scans and later on use those symbols to look up the charts and you will see the scan result and the band indicators are matching. As you know, the scans in station don't recognize a candle that is not complete. That's why I don't use the scans so much. I try to make decisions in real time. That's why I use the sonar or radar on station. Here also some of the informations you may see pressure and U-turn. Then we have squeeze, squeeze release and this is stretch and stretch release price extreme or pendulum high and the reversal candle. Many of the informations in band indicators are there in the sonar. In the sonar, we can visualize the information for many stocks. And on the band indicators, we can see the different signals from many different templates on a single chart. So Sagar, can we go back to the uh, sonar and... Uh, uh, sure. Uh, so let's say we're looking at the pendulum on uh, BRKS. Yes. Um, it's, it's a light green. What does that mean? Let's, let's say... look at the chart. Let's look. I click on BRKS symbol that will bring it on the chart. On the left hand side, I'm going to press Control Shift E to get the price extreme. So this is the color, the price extreme or pendulum color that mm -hmm. is coming on sonar as well. If you look at sonar. Green doesn't mean uh, good. Green, you know, for a long means, um, you know, 
price is kind of ex extended. For long, you should look for yellow if you're looking for a bounce kind of thing or yellow to uh, green transition, like for example, for somewhere in August. For actual trade setup three, we use the checklist. Checklist, got it. Checklist. Got it. In the checklist, we will have to see which setup is applicable. This mm -hmm. is giving an indication that it is already at a very extreme price level. Why this mm -hmm. is useful? Some people like to buy stocks that are at high price level, like the IBT style. Or people like mm -hmm. to buy when they are making all-time new high or near all-time new high. That is useful. And some people like to buy low, real low. Mm -hmm. So that information is available in sonar, in band indicators, and on this information. That doesn't say, do I buy now or not? All the Q charts, even the age, vital, everything, the green color can mean one of two things. One is it can mean bullish or it can mean on the higher side. So in pendulum chart or price extreme chart, green means on the higher side. Of course, that also means bullish. And if I change it, why I made that distinction, if I go to volatility chart, here price is at very high level, of course, but the candle color is magenta because here it is showing magenta means low level, right? And this is volatility. So volatility is actually low. The color in different Q templates meet different things. In volatility chart, the candle color means is option volatility high or low here it is showing that option volatility is low that is why the color is magenta magenta then it will be red and after that it will be yellow so again all q charts the green means high or bullish higher side or bullish red bearish or lower side like in this volatility case it is volatility is lower side and yellow mm -hmm. is in the middle or neutral that is that is what we can get from B R K S, the pendulum price level, changing it back to that candle chart. It is at price extreme high. It's not giving any mm -hmm. Q trade setup as of today. Q trade setup is not there. Doesn't mean somebody cannot trade, but there is no Q trade setup. So early on, you mentioned uh, uh, this could be used for uh, buying good fundamentally strong stocks at uh, you know, close to bottoms. Yes, yes, that's a very good idea, in fact. For example, we all know Apple is a strong stock for decades. It's not for one Correct. day, one. So let's look at Apple. Mm -hmm. Even strong stocks sometimes come down, not in recent periods, but mm -hmm. let me synchronize. Shopify, that. I think, is, is a good example. We can scroll back. Yes, Shopify. Okay, could we could look at that also? Okay, let me use this one. here, for example, and let me synchronize. Sorry, synchronize. Okay, see, Apple is a strong stock, and it was a strong stock in 2019, also end of 2019, and it did change color to mm -hmm. price extreme low. So from that point onward, and I'm synchronizing the two templates, we could start to look mm -hmm. for a buy setup. When was the possible first buy setup? That was on this day, because then trend on the daily chart started to go up, pull back a little bit, make a higher low, went up again with a cyan flow candle. So we could take a long trade at that time. Of course, earnings was after three days. So we may not buy just before earnings. Some people may buy, some people may not buy. After earnings, one might buy. One way to buy it will be, it was a gap up move. So people like to take tradable gap ups. That is when price goes above high of that gap up candle. So next day they could make an entry putting stop just below the gap up candle slow. In this case, one would be able to track a very fundamentally strong stock apple let it come to price extreme low we don't have to check the stocks every day we can just run the scan at price extreme low and reversing that will identify these minute variations from magenta to red or red to dark red 
or dark red to yellow. All of those variations will be picked up by price extreme low and reversing scan. And then we may look for a buy, buy opportunity with the proper setup. Do these show up in uh, Sonar uh, Sagar? Let's check. The, this, uh, the reversal. Uh... No, reversal, because Sonar can show only one candle's information. Sonar, mm -hmm. it, it is not able to show whether it is uh, current version at least. We don't show yesterday's and today's. And it is not only yesterday, it can change across several days. But you may run the mm -hmm. scan, price extreme low and reversing. And because this technique is used to catch strong fundamental stocks at low price, it's okay to run it at end of day. We don't need real time because you're mm -hmm. thinking of buying strong stocks at very low price and holding it for longer time. Can so, you specify your basket to run this scan sure, on? Sure, uh, sure. I'm, I'm new to uh, trade station, so. Okay. Now, stress station allows setting the symbol list for which which is used for the scans individually for all the scans. However, in my experience, traders tend to have one or two symbol lists, maybe one symbol list that is their master list like I have. So what we have done, if I go to the folder structure for trace station and I suggest moving to trace station 10 if somebody is still using 9.5, 10.0 is now very mm -hmm. stable at least on my computer, very stable. And it has a very nicely organized folder structure. So under your documents folder under Trestation 10, you'll have custom symbol lists. What mm -hmm. we have done, all the scans run on this Q scan symbol list. So if you want to change the symbol list for the scans, you can just change this symbol list instead of having to change the symbol list individually for each of the scans. If you wanted to change individually, let's say price extreme low and reversing, you double click, then we have the symbol universe. You could add new custom list. So instead oh, of having to change everywhere, I have used Q scan symbol list in Q name. Mm -hmm. and that simplifies life because all you need to do is change this. For example, I have say Q liquid mid price stocks with five year history and Q liquid low price stocks. I don't know exactly what is in the current list. Suppose I want to use this as my scan list. So what I do, I copy this into a new version. I check this name copied that name, delete that, and I simply rename it as Q scan symbol list. Oh, so sorry, using sorry, these few strokes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am able to change my scan symbol. So what you may do, if you have many symbol lists, you create a list for each of those, keep in the custom symbol list folder. And whenever you want to change mm -hmm. the scan list, you just rename, copy, make a copy and rename it with the dollar Q scan symbol list. Sure, sure. Sagar, what is this, uh, the Q, uh, the symbol is, is it, is it the S&P 1500? Just curious. It is, it is actually up to, up to the trader. As I okay. showed, you may have many, you may have one for S&P 500, 1500, up to you. And then on what you want to run scan, you just copy and rename it as Q scan symbol list. So right now, as we saw, I just renamed let me use the black color. I just used this mid-price stocks with five years history. I put that in Q scan symbol gotcha. list. So now it will run on this list. But instead of me having to change in every scan, I just rename and uh, copy and rename. So in single step, I change the scan list but for all the symbols. I guess what I'm saying is you, your original one that before you changed it, what did you base that symbol list off of? Did you base it off S&P 500 or you just created it yourself completely? I, I created it myself. I think it okay. it was this mid, for my computer, I th this is my usual stock universe. 
usually I use this mid price stocks with five years history. And if you see my Q global setting there also, I have the same liquid mid price stocks with five years history. Is, is there any way we could get, I don't, I, I opened my uh, trade station documents, 10 trade station symbol list. I don't have the uh, five year histories, the two of them. Is there any way we could get those or just create them ourselves? Mm, no, the five year history that is kind of, I use the fundamentals, the Q vital, etc., to create that list. Okay, that's I, fine. Okay. I yeah, you you have I, I know Mike, you have QH Q vital, so you may create it from there. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Good question. Thank you. Any other question? So going back to Shopify, I think, you know, this uh, reversal wouldn't have uh, given, I was looking at Facebook, Facebook, you know, might have been a good, uh, uh, you know, you could catch uh, Facebook, but uh, um, so stop, Shopify probably did not pull back to the extreme. Oh, you may check that out. And every stock may not pull back every time. The sure, scan sure. is there to mm -hmm. wait for the actual uh, time. You are right. Facebook changed recently. Let's see Shopify changed recently or not. No, did not. Uh, not in the same period. So this, this right. technique is for mm -hmm. longer time investors who are patient and wait. Actually here, when it changed from yellow to green, that would also be picked up by that price extreme. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, yellow to green, no, no, sorry, sorry. I think only red to yellow, not yellow to green. That will be too late. Yellow to green will be, oh, yes, you are right. Shopify in recent times didn't give you that. Let's change to mm -hmm. weekly. Yes, it's, it's going up straight. It didn't give in recent time. That's why the scan is there. You may run it using the scan. That's for longer term investing. Any other question? Sagar, when you, um, I know when you do your uh, uh, on, on trade station, when you want to gear down to the daily chart, I know, uh, is, is that the one you use on trade station, the Q9-2 intraday pivot? That's the same one you use for your Metastock program, or roughly? So if I want to get in intraday or out intraday, what, I guess, what chart would that be on our... Um, this one. On, okay. That is called fine tune or precision entry. It is uh, control yeah, I shift I, I for intraday. <laughs> if you use control shift I on the latest version, if it is not working on your computer, you may download the latest version. Control shift I. Gotcha. Okay. Shopify, because we are on Shopify, let, let's look at Shopify yesterday, what happened? It opened at the blue pivot level, which was above previous day's high. So we know it was a gap up move. Now let's move to sonar and you will see how the sonar matches with the charts. We saw that for the daily intervals, but let's see some of the information intraday. Yesterday, it had a gap up open, not very large. That's why it's not changing color to green, but it had a gap up open. After open, it moved up further by 3.9% close, 5% higher. And on the daily time frame, it is touching a memory resistance. It is at price extreme or pendulum high. Direction is up, bright green means it is above both yellow and white direction lines. If it is dark green, then it is above one of them. If it is bright green, then it is above both yellow and white. And it just came out of a squeeze release. Relative performance, very strong. Outperforming the market and option volatility, very low. But we are discussing the precision Good entry point. chart. So we see it had a gap yeah. up open and then it went up further. So if somebody is tracking Shopify, then we could take a gap up long trade. It had a gap up move and then the moment it broke out of early range high, these two cyan pivots, the gap setup says we can take trade in either direction. 
the direction is decided by in which side it is breaking out in the morning session q suggestion is to use five minutes so one would enter the long right at this point put stop just below early range low which was not touched not approached and once the risk distance is covered or at one of those dynamically drawn pivot levels one could book partial profit so in this case if i was day trading shopify i would book partial profit here maybe to third position and leave the stop loss at the original place another approach is to book half profit and move stop to break even and let it play out for the remaining hours of the day i don't like to day trade based on only fine tune chart i like to look at daily weekly and then decide so this might not be my best day trade candidate what i explained few days ago about gold let's change to gold and i'll explain when this bearish headwind signal came it was at price extreme high there was no headwind short trade setup however because the headwind came one could keep an eye on the fine tune chart next day and let me try to synchronize between charts and go back to fine tune this was the next day this was the next day next day it actually went above early range high but i was not going to take any long trade because the daily weekly was telling me there is a possibility price will come down so i could wait and wait for the bear release signal which appeared at a pivot level this day trading technique of shorting at the swing high or buying at the swing low is equivalent to the box short setup so we are trying to take a reversal trade at a resistance this major pivot levels and we need a bear release signal for short trade we need a candle color that is not green which was true and we need high activity either on that candle or few candles before that all those requirements were met so in this case because i was ready you could be ready you would short at this price level and your stop would be as narrow as possible that is just above that candle high and the moment it hit the next pivot level the risk distance was covered we would book profit at least partial so that our trade is risk free because it is a reversal trade and intraday prices can move suddenly it's always a good idea to book profit once the risk distance is covered remember that arithmetic so long as we have one is to one reward risk ratio 60% success rate 100 trades in a year we already have 20% return so we don't have to wait for longer one technique is to take some money from the market book profit on partial position and let it play out you could continue to hold partial position for the overnight market for next day another approach could be remaining position you could book profit at the end of the day you close the entire profit and use part of the profit to buy a put option that also keeps the trade hundred percent risk free because you are using part of the profit to buy put options even if the puts become zero you will still end up with some profit in the overall trade that is how you may use fine tune to take two kinds of trades one is a early range breakout trade which happened next day because we were still bearish probably using the weekly daily on gold next day when it broke below early range low it in fact gave a gap short day trade opportunity so that that short entry will be at this price top would have been just above early range high and as price came to one of these pivot levels partial profit could be booked so first time i could use the box equivalent setup for intraday charts to short it here and if somebody was waiting for the next day that would be a early range breakout which was also a gap short day trade setup 
that's how you may use fine tune chart and if you are using precision entry to enter swing trades you will see this reversal setup using stretch release is extremely useful market individual stocks will tend to move up and down instead of buying at open or even not using early range breakout you may wait for the release signal and you can see the stop is the lowest possible stop for early range breakout trade your stop is the distance between early range lines high and low for this stretch release trade the stop is the narrowest possible stop only thing is you have to wait to see when the bear release signal is coming is it at a pivot level is there high activity when those conditions are met that give a high probability trade you may check it out first, observe a few days, and then see if you are willing to take such day trades. Very good question. And I am probably explaining more than you wanted to know. <laughs> okay. This is very helpful, uh, uh, Sagar, actually. Um, you know, I'm learning a lot in, you know, question about you know you mentioned the direction line you know uh, yellow line uh, white line yellow line uh, yes. before uh... yes on the daily chart in the entry chart templates we have four direction hmm. lines the two I don't mention the, you may notice they are also in darker colors they are not so important for Q trade setups. Intentionally, I made them darker color so they don't come to my focus. Even the yellow and white are not part of any Q trade setup. However, there is a concept that that is not showing up here. All HGSI traders know, many traders know, when multiple of those directions come together, and then start to diverge again, that may be a low risk buy point. However, I don't need that for Q trade setup because I have the go with flow long trade setup that doesn't need to have a yellow or white direction line constraint. Because of that, because I don't have that constraint in Q system, I am okay to buy if a stock is below yellow white direction line. Some other traders would prefer to wait to buy after they are above both of the white and yellow. And that is one reason in Sonar, I have made that distinction. If this direction is bright green, you know from Sonar itself that it is above both yellow and white. For Q setup, not useful, but some others would like to confirm that. Very good question again. I think that that was very good. Then from time to time, if you want, I will organize this. Whenever you have some question, you may drop me a note and instead of just having one-to-one -one conversation, we'll have joint conversation. So everybody may benefit from that. Yeah, it's been very helpful. It has been, Sailor. Thank you. It's my pleasure. My favorite last slide. Thank you again for joining. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week, great day. Keep safe and trade profitably. Thank you. Thank you, Sagar. Thank Thanks, Sagar. Bye. See you over the weekend. Yes. Bye -bye. See you. See you. Yes. Bye.